Welcome back to Franchise Football and a trip to Raleigh for a showdown with the Carolina Panthers for the second time this season. Welcome back to the Atlanta Falcons franchise. I'm your host, Husker Eurocat. With the loss of Christian McCaffrey to injury, the Panthers have fallen to last place in the NFC South, but hang on to a glimmer of hope to still make the playoffs this season. For that to happen, they must win today and possibly for the rest of the season, depending on what the other members of the conference can accomplish. One thing is certain though, the rushing game has taken a big hit. Good thing that we have two top 10 passing attacks going at it today. Can they put up some big numbers or will the defenses take control of this one? Carolina has the number six pass defense and the Falcons have the number eight rush defense. Definitely different paths to a common goal, but the big question is which one will get the upper hand today. Let's find out as we take you to the action here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Amir Abdullah is back deep for Carolina as Young Wei Ku gets us underway. Abdullah takes the ball at the goal line and comes out to the 26 yard line. Make that the 27. Darnold takes it himself and he runs up the left side numbers and it's a first down all the way out past the 40 yard line. A 16 yard gain on the very first play. Now under center. Darnold takes the snap, hands off to Hubbard, and Chuba only gets a few. But here on second and six, the ball again is a handoff and almost a first down into Falcon territory at the 47. Third and one, going to pass and throws it away out of bounds. And the Falcons hold on the Panthers' first drive. Now from the 20 yard line, Ryan throws it over the middle complete and it's a first down to Calvin Ridley. Now the Panthers giving a cover two look. Patterson is caught in the backfield. Ryan Burns takes him down for a three yard loss. Now under center, Ryan. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, and is on the run to the right side. Doesn't have anywhere to go. And he barely makes it back to the line of scrimmage. Now out of the shotgun. There was a jump there and no call. Third and 13, and Geronimo Allison can't get to the sticks, taken down by C.J. Henderson. Now after a Panther, three and out. The ball just outside the 47, the pass to Pitts. And he gets into Panther territory at the 48. Ryan throws and it's complete to Pitts again at the 40 yard line. First down, Falcons. Patterson, the lone setback, a fake play action pass and it's downfield completed to Ridley inside the 10 yard line. First and goal Falcons and their first trip into the red zone. Second and goal and stringing it all the way to the sideline. Allison can't turn the corner. Up the middle, Bryce Loves gets spun around and tackled at the one yard line. And he's holding his chest on the sideline, looks to be okay. Hopefully he'll be back in soon. But Young Wei Ku comes on for a 17 yard kick and it's up and good. So the Falcons take the early lead, three to nothing. Now can Darnold and company move it down the field? Out of the shotgun. Darnold throws, the catch made. DJ Moore gets a first down for the Panthers out at the 32. 
Shuba Hubbard spins and can't get even to the 30-yard line. A second and 11 coming up now. They gave him a very generous spot out at 31. Darnold goes down. Justin Matabiki with an eight-yard sack. Now after a Falcon three and out from the 22-yard line, Darnold throws complete. Antonio Brown with a nine-yard pickup. Almost the end of the first quarter. Pass complete and a first down to Moore. That brings us to the end of the first quarter with your score three to nothing, Atlanta. Now Darnold under center, takes the snap. Play action pass, throws complete. Hubbard out of the backfield, gets to the 40 yard line. After a holding penalty, out of the shotgun, Darnold on third and 10. Hits Hubbard and he is tackled just shy of the sticks by Moreau and after another Falcon three and out, it is the Panthers ball again outside the 42 yard line. The pass caught by Moore for a first down inside Falcon territory. Now Hubbard takes it up center Gets to the 41 after another holding penalty. Second and 14. The pass complete to Brown, and he gets out to the 40-yard line. So third and three. Abdullah on the draw, takes it up the middle. First down inside the 30. And Kalechi Osemele is down and is being tended to on the sideline. Sure he's gonna be okay. Hubbard takes it up the middle to the 21. Second and three for the Panthers. The play action pass. Darnold all day to throw it and finally finds Tremble on the sideline. Is that going to be, oh, they do call that inbounds. And it's a first and goal for the Panthers. Darnold on the run to the right and is sacked outside the 10 yard line by A.J. Terrell. Now from just outside the 10. Hubbard takes it down to the five yard line. Third and goal. Darnold all alone in the backfield, can't find anybody and finally throws it out of the back of the end zone. That brings on Zane Gonzalez for a 22 yard field goal and it's up and this ball game is tied. So in a defensive struggle, it is now tied up at three apiece. Matt Ryan in the shotgun, throws, completes it to Pitts, and that is a first down out at the 33. Now from the shotgun again, play action pass, and he, Ryan tucks it and is tackled at the 36, and he is down and in pain and finally escorted to the locker room. And this is not good news. Josh Rosen comes in. It's a handoff to Patterson. Gets out to the 41 before he stopped. So that brings up third and two. Atlanta tries a trick play and it does not get with a result that they th thought it would. Allison is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. And that brings up a punt. And a beautiful punt inside the five yard line. The Panthers backed up to just outside the two. Hubbard takes it around the right side. First down all the way out to the 16 yard line. 
Now after a loss on first down, it's second and 13, the pass batted away by Kendall Sheffield. Third and 13, out of the shotgun, Darnold passes over the middle, short to Tremble, and he does not make the first down. And that should be the last play before the two minute warning with your ball game all tied up at three. Now with a minute 55 left on the clock, Rosen out of the shotgun, throws complete, a short pass to Patterson, just getting past the 40 yard line. So third and five, pass over the middle to Patterson again, and it's a first down inside Panther territory at the 45. That pass is knocked down at the line of scrimmage by Brian Burns. So Rosen standing at the 50, can't find anybody open and runs straight into the arms of Frankie Louvu. Now a pass over the middle to almost the 48. Leaves him well short of the first down and that will take us to halftime. Both teams struggling, but the Falcons only have 16 yards on the ground. Ouch. Now let's go to Eurocat Baby for a halftime update. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Report. We'll get you back to the Falcons and Panthers in a moment. I think everyone in black and red are interested in one thing, and that is the status of Matt Ryan. Well, I found out that unfortunately he broke some ribs on that trip out of the pocket and he'll be out of action for what the training staff says will be four to five weeks. He may be back in time for the New Orleans matchup at the end of the season, but it certainly leaves a big gap in the roster. Until he's cleared to return, Josh Rosen is going to have to be the man in charge. In another game that has gone to halftime, the Jets are leading the Saints by eight points, 14 to six. Jameis Winston is throwing the ball well for New Orleans, but it seems that New York is stopping Alvin Kamara from being a significant part of this ball game. Next week's opponent, the 49ers, are taking care of business in Cincinnati. Jimmy Garoppolo has thrown for two touchdowns in the first half on his way to leading San Francisco to a 21-7 lead at the break. Here in Raleigh, scoring has been at a premium. Defense has definitely taken over the game. Can either offense start pushing the ball downfield and into the end zone? Stay tuned to find out because we'll be right back with the second half. Welcome back to Bank of America Stadium, everyone, for the second week in a row. If you tuned in, for a defensive ball game, <laughs> well, we're here again to satisfy your craving. The only scoring has been a field goal by each team, so the ball game is essentially starting over in the second half. Has anyone learned anything from the first half play? Well, let's find out. Atlanta has the ball at the 25-yard line. Rosen out of the shotgun, takes the ball, hands it off to Patterson. He's out to the 30-yard line. Five-yard pickup. Rosen under center, hands off to Patterson. He gets out to the 20, no, no the 34, excuse me. And that brings up a third and in inches situation. Love picks up the first down out to the 40 yard line. Now to the shotgun. Ridley comes in motion and it's a handoff. Love takes it out past the 40 yard line for a three yard gain. Second and seven. Patterson spins his way to the 49. So third and six for the Falcons. Rosen throws over the middle and incomplete. So the Panthers take over at their own 19 yard line after the punt. 
Hubbard takes it up the middle over the 25 yard line to the 26. Third and three. Back to pass, Darnold lets go and it's complete out to trouble and he is out of bounds at midfield. So on second and seven, it's a handoff to Abdullah and he gets maybe a yard out of it. Third and six. Back to pass, Darnold completes this one out of the backfield to Giovanni Ricci, stopped by Richie Grant. So out comes the punt team. Hunter Nicewander awaiting the punt. He is passing the football and it's knocked away incomplete. But the Falcons go three and out and they pin the Panthers deep at the two yard line. Abdullah carries it out to the seven yard line. So on third and two from the 10, the pass in the backfield of Tremble and he can't make it anywhere. Taken down by Tremaine Edmonds. So the Falcons from just outside the 45 yard line. The pass complete to Gage and they mark it as a first down. And second and eight, Rosen throws over the middle complete Pitts taking it inside the 40. So after a false start, Rosen out of the shotgun, can't connect, and the Falcons have to punt it away. Now the Panthers can't do anything with it, so here goes the Falcons again. Patterson takes it out past the 35, and that'll bring us to the end of quarter number three with your score still tied at three apiece. Now on second and five. The give is to Patterson over the left side and he gets the first down. Out at the 42. Rosen back to pass, completes this one to Hurst, taking it to the 49. Now the pass, oh, it's a play action fake. All day to throw it. Rosen can't find anybody open and finally takes off and slides down for a first down inside Panther territory. Rosen back to pass again and he is sacked. Marquise Haynes gets to him for an 11 yard sack. Punt is on its way and falls inside the five and it's down at the one and about the one and a half yard line or so. So the Panthers start out in a hole again. A nice run to the right and Abdullah takes it out past the 10 yard line for a nine yard pickup. Now the pass on the way and caught by Moore, a first down out past the 25 yard line and marked at the 26. Now on second and seven, Darnold on the run to the left and a big gain and did he make the first down? No, they're gonna mark him just shy, third and inches. The ball is given to Abdullah and he fights his way forward. First down for the Panthers. Ricci now lining up as the eye back and Donald feeds him the ball and he's tackled at the 41. Second and six. Ricci with the handoff again and outside the 40 yard line to the 43. Now third and five. Back to pass, Darnold over the middle and a completion to Robbie Anderson inside the 45 yard line of the Falcons. Abdullah takes it inside the 35 in field goal range now. 
four minutes left on the clock. Abdullah again carries it into the middle and gets the first down. Second and nine from the 31. Darnold throws complete to Tremble down at the 20 yard line. Now second and seven inside the 20. Darnold throws and it's complete in back of the end zone. Touchdown, Antonio Brown. That was a beautiful catch in the back of the end zone. Duran Harmon was in pursuit, but just couldn't make it there in time. Brown getting all 10 toes down inside the boundary. Now with under two minutes to go, Rosen throws short to Patterson and he has the first down. They're gonna mark him just short, so second and inches. Rosen with another pass. Short, out of the backfield is Pitts, a flag on the play, and it's a face mask against C.J. Henderson. That's gonna give the Falcons a nice gain out to, or, or inside the 45 yard line. Another completed pass inside the 35. Rosen throws and it's incomplete at the 20 yard line. On fourth and one, last play. And they cannot connect. Bryce Love was there but couldn't hang on to the ball. And the Panthers just have to run out the clock. And this one will be over. Ricci with a first down. And the Panthers are now in the victory formation. And that is it. The Falcons drop the game here in Raleigh 10 to 3 and lose their second football game in a row. Well, isn't that just a nasty pill to swallow? A touchdown pass by the Panthers while leaving only two minutes to work with left the Falcons without enough time to push the ball down the field without throwing a long ball. And Atlanta just isn't that good at throwing the long ball with Matt Ryan at the helm to say nothing of Josh Rosen at the controls. He tried to get the ball downfield and even had a little help with a face mask penalty on the Panthers, but in the end, he just couldn't get the job done. If you look at the team stats, you can see that both teams were moving the football, but coming down the stretch, it was the Panthers who did a better job of pushing. Surprisingly, it was the rushing attack that did it for Carolina, which kind of makes me scratch my head because Atlanta has been so good against the run lately. Couple that with the fact that the Panthers were without McCaffrey for this game makes it even stranger. Looking at the Falcon receiving leaders gives us a clue as to what Atlanta needs to fix. When your halfback is your reception leader, you may have a problem. If you really watch Rosen as he played, he really became a check down Charlie. Not saying that he doesn't have the ability to go long, but he was visibly rattled in the pocket. From a defensive standpoint, three of the first four tackle leaders were Falcons, but more importantly was the fact they were DBs. Uh, yes, they did have a combined three tackles for loss, so it was apparent that the Falcons were calling some DB blitz package plays, but it also may show that the Panthers were getting into the defensive backfield a lot before getting tackled, and that may be something to work on as well. It's going to need to be worked out before next week because they travel to Santa Clara, California to take on the number one passing game in the NFL. The San Francisco 49ers will take all the Falcons can muster in executing a winning game plan. 
along with that number one passing attack, they have the number five rushing defense. So the running game may not be the answer. All I know is that if Atlanta is to have a chance in this game, Rosen will need to be all over his passing game. Pitted against the number 26 passing defense, it may mean that the pass will be the only way to get the ball in the end zone. Regardless, we're talking about a tough football game. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Atlanta faced a determined defense today as backup Josh Rosen tried to lead the Falcons to a victory here in Raleigh. They just couldn't get the job done today and need an outstanding game next week to avoid dropping three in a row. Can the running attack make a dent against an outstanding run defense, or will Rosen have to play lights out in the passing game? Join us to find out when the Falcons descend on Levi Stadium, and until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone.